Francesco Cilia, Francesco Cilia, also Cilia, Palmi, July 23, 1866, Barazze, November 20, 1950, was an Italian composer. Today he is particularly known for his operas Lare Lesiana and Adriana Le Couver. Born in Palmi near Reggio di Calabria, Cilia gave early indication of an aptitude for music when at the age of four he heard a performance of Vincenzo Bellini's Norma and was greatly affected by it. He was sent to study music at the Conservatorio di San Pietro a Miele in Naples, where he quickly demonstrated his diligence and precocious talent, earning a gold medal from the Ministero della Pubblica Istruzione, Department of Education. In 1889, for his final examination at the end of his course of study, he submitted his opera Gina, with a libretto by Enrico Galicini which was adapted from the old French play Catherine, Au Lac Roy d'Or by Baron and owner A. Joseph de Verrier de Malesville. 1787, 1865. This melodrama idyllica was performed in the college theater, and it attracted the attention of the publishers Sinzono, who arranged for a second production, in Florence, in 1892. Sinzono also then commissioned from Cilia La Tilda, a very small opera in three short acts along the lines of Mascagni's Cavalleria Rusticana. With a libretto by Angelo Zanyardini. La Tilda had a successful first performance in April 1892 at the Teatro Pagliano in Florence, and after performances on a number of Italian theaters, it arrived at the Vienna Exhibition on September 24, 1892, alongside other works from the firm of Sansono. The composer never showed much sympathy for this work, the subject of which he reluctantly agreed to set to music in order to please Sansono and to avoid throwing away a rare professional opportunity. The loss of the orchestral score has prevented the modern revival of this work, whose fresh and catchy melody s can nevertheless be discovered in the transcription for voice and piano. In 1897, 27th of November, the Teatro Lirico in Milan saw the premiere of Cilia's third opera L'Air Lesiana, based on the play by Alphonse Daudet, with a libretto by Leopoldo Marenco. Among the cast was the young Enrico Caruso who performed with great success the Lamento di Federico, e la Salita Storia del Pastore, the romance which was to keep alive the memory of the opera even to the present day. In reality L'Air Lesiana was a failure which Cilia, being convinced of the work's value, tried repeatedly to remedy, making drastic and detailed alterations throughout the remainder of his life. In the score which we hear today, it is hard to find a single bar which is completely unchanged from the original. The revised opera was however still not successful apart from a brief period in the 1930s when it benefited from political support which the composer established through personal contact with Mussolini. Again at the Teatro Lirico in Milan, in 1902, 6 November, and again with Enrico Caruso, the composer won an enthusiastic reception for Adriana Le Couvreur, a four-act opera with a libretto by Arturo Collati, set in 18th-century Paris and based upon a play by Eugène Scribe. Adriana Le Couvreur is the opera of Chile which is best known to international audiences today, and it reveals the spontaneity of a melodic style drawn from the Neapolitan school combined with harmonic and tonal shading influenced by French composers such as Massenet. As a performer there are a number of examples of Cilia's art. At the piano Cilia accompanied, none too elegantly, Caruso in a recording of a part of the duet Non più nobili and made another recording with the baritone De Luca at the same time, November 1902. In 1904 for the gramophone, and typewriter company he accompanied the tenor Fernando de Lucia in Lenny Mahostanka from Adriana Le Couvreur and in the song Lontananza, an effort which critic Michael Henstick, in his biography of de Lucia, declares is hardly inspired by de Lucia's fine performances. Even given the crude recording techniques of the Deutsch Lee's piano playing, put charitably, seems square and lifeless. See Henstick. Cilia's last opera premiered at La Scala in Milan on April 15, 1907 under the baton of Arturo Toscanini, was the three-act tragedy Gloria, again with a libretto B. Colaudi, based on a play by Victor Sardo. The opera was withdrawn after only two performances, and the failure of this work, even though the composer attempted a later revision, was enough to drive him to abandon the operatic stage for good. There are however indications of some later unfulfilled operatic projects, which survive as parts or sketches of libretti, such as Il Ritorno dell'Amore by Renato Simoni, Milena by Ettore Maschino, and La Rosa di Pompei, also by Maschino, dated Naples, May 20, 1924. Some sources also refer to an opera of 1909, completed but never performed, called Il Matrimonio Salvaggio, 
but no copy of this survives and Cilia himself made no mention of it in his volumes of memoirs, recording. Nevertheless, he continued to compose chamber music, and some orchestral music. In 1913 he produced a symphonic poem in honor of Giuseppe Verdi with verses by Sambinelli, which was first performed at the Teatro Carlo Felice in Genoa. After this he devoted himself principally to education and became director of the Conservatorio Vincenzo Bellini in Palermo, and then at his alma mater, the Conservatorio San Pietro a Maiella in Naples, where he ended his teaching career in 1936. In his last years Cilia's eyesight failed but his mind was active enough to encourage and work with singers of the day. Among his last musical activities was his championship of the soprano Magda Olivero, 1910-2014 whose performances in the title role of Adriana Lecouvreur he especially admired. Cilia died on November 20, 1950 in Varazze, a town near Savona in Liguria which offered him honorary citizenship and where he spent the last years of his life. The Conservatorio di Musica and the Teatro Comunale of Reggio di Calabria were renamed in his memory, and his native town of Palma built a mausoleum in his memory, decorated with scenes from the myth of Orpheus. Opera other works voice and piano thanks for watching don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe